Good day to all the viewers. My name is Nodi Iambo. Welcome to today's lesson, which is all about engine parts for the grade eight technical studies big learners. Know the main engine parts, which are located inside a motor vehicle in order to supply power. Various components within the engine work together to produce power by burning fuel. Upon that background, this lesson will focus on the main parts of a vehicle's engine. The lesson objectives are to identify the main engine parts such as cylinder block, cylinder head, pistons and rings, cone rods, crankshaft, bearings, flywheel, carburetor and starter motor. Now that we have our objectives, let us get into today's lesson. Cylinder block. The cylinder block is the most important part of the vehicle that has an internal combustion engine. It provides the power that drives the vehicle. It is called a block because it is usually cast a solid part, made of cast iron or aluminum alloys. As the name suggests, the cylinder block that houses the cylinder and their components inside a cooled and lubricated crankcase. Cylinder head. The cylinder head is located at the top of the cylinder block. It is made of aluminum or cast iron. Its function include the following. Serves as a lid for the cylinder so that the petrol mixture may be compressed in the cylinder without a loss of pressure. Contains a section of the combustion chamber. In an overhead valve engine, the head houses the valve mechanism. Accommodates the spark plugs. Pistons and rings. A piston is made of cast iron or aluminum alloys. The construction of piston. A hollow cylinder unit open at one end and closed at the other. Closed end or upper end is called the piston crown, accurately machined to fit into the cylinder. Contains a hole for the piston or guardian pin. Has grooves to accommodate the piston rings. Number of graves depends on design. A piston serves as a pump and thereby causes a vacuum in the cylinder during the intake stroke. Forces the bend gases during the exhaust stroke. Compress the petrol in the combustion chamber during the compression stroke. Piston rings. Piston rings work with the piston to act as a pump. Modern engines have an average of three piston rings, except where high performance is required. Smaller engines usually have only two rings per piston. Connecting rods. Function of the connecting rod is to connect the piston with the crankshaft, thus transferring the force exerted on the piston to the crankshaft. Connecting rods are made of high quality cast steel with chrome vanadium. Connecting rods consists of a big end bearing which is fitted to the crank pin of the crankshaft. The small end that is connected to the piston by the guardian pin. Crankshaft. The crankshaft is the main shaft of the engine. The function of the crankshaft is to convert the reciprocating interchanging movement of the piston into a rotary or turning movement. Crankshaft is made of steel alloys with nickel chrome and chrome vanadium. A crankshaft, one, is housed in bearing liners inside the cylinder block. Two, is provided with as many crank journal as there are cylinder in the engine. Three, is also provided with counter weights for balancing in addition. Four, the flywheel is bolted to the rear of the crankshaft. 
5. The crankshaft pulley and the crankshaft gar are fitter to the front. Bearings. Bearings are made of bronze or brass and are covered in thin layer of white metal or an alloy consisting of lead, antimony and radium. Function. Bearings provide a friction reduced surface to which the wearing face of a rotating part rests. Flywheel. Flywheels are made of cast iron or steel. The flywheel contains 1. A ring gear, 2. A clutch plate, 3. A pressure plate. It absorbs energy during the power stroke to help the engine run during idle stroke. Carburetor. A carburetor has three main functions. To mix the fuel and air, to vaporize the fuel mixture so that it can be better, to control the speed of the engine by increasing or decreasing the fuel mixture. Starter motor. The starter is an electric motor that engages temporarily with the ring gear around the clutch plate to make the crankshaft rotate enough to start the engine. Once the engine has started, the starter motor's drive gear disengages automatically. The starter is activated by the ignition key, a separate button or an electronic switch. Now that we have come to the end of our lesson, let's recap on what we have learned. In this lesson, we learned about the main engine parts such as cylinder block, cylinder head, pistons and rings, cone rods, crankshaft, bearings, flywheel, carburetor and starter motor, including their main functions in an engine. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, goodbye.